From Tampa Bay streaming news leader, this is ABC Action News. Hey there, I'm Jasmine Stiles. Expect another beautiful day across the Bay Area. Meteorologist Greg D has your full weather forecast coming up. But first, the latest on the coronavirus pandemic. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is releasing 164 inmates to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. The inmates are low-level, nonviolent offenders who couldn't afford to bond out. Sheriff Chad Cronister says as of now, there's no coronavirus cases in the jails. One man released this morning told us he's not going to quarantine himself. I'm still going to do what I need to do to live a normal life. Uh, it, I'm not going to stay away from people because of something like that. Uh, I don't think I'll catch it. The sheriff says releasing the inmates allows them to practice social distancing at home and let them help their families. Three Daughters Brewing in St. Pete is adjusting its plan to use its equipment to make hand sanitizer. Hundreds of people showed up trying to get some. The head of Three Daughters is asking you not to come by the brewery. They're giving the hand sanitizer to charities, not the public. And Tampa Seminole Hard Rock Casino has no plans to shut its doors over coronavirus concerns, but State Representative Jackie Toledo claims there's not enough sanitizing being done to kill the virus, and casino employees are scared. In a casino, patrons have to touch screens, they touch money, they touch chips, and they touch tables. They are encouraging the spread of this virus. A casino spokesperson tells ABC Action News they're taking active measures to protect guests and employees. That includes turning off some slot machines to force people to separate and putting fewer chairs up at table games. Many people spend the winters in Florida and they are heading north now, but the coronavirus is complicating their travel plans. Flights aren't an option for many, so we talked with a woman from Detroit who's driving back. She says this road trip is much different this year. I think coming north has been quite heavy. My husband just bought me a Coca-Cola at the gas station and first thing we did was wipe it down and then wipe his hands. She told us she's glad to be going back home so she's near her doctor if anything should happen. Volvo is recalling more than 700,000 cars because their automatic emergency braking system may not detect obstacles, meaning that it won't stop. This could put your family's safety at risk. The recall involves 2019 and 2020 S60, V60, S90L and V90 models. So far, there haven't been any reports of crashes or injuries. Volvo will update the software for free. You can find more information at abcactionnews.com slash recalls. Now let's get to Greg D with a look at your forecast. Looking fantastic, uh, Jasmine, as we head through the rest of today. Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. Now east of 75, we'll be setting records near 90 degrees. I know you're already looking forward to the weekend, and it looks fantastic. Saturday and Sunday, maybe a touch cooler. We'll still be in the 80s, well above normal, but maybe the low to mid 80s versus uh, record-setting temperatures closer to 90 degrees. You can always get that latest forecast by downloading the ABC Action News app. Jasmine. Thanks, Greg. Now you can get your news 24 hours a day on our free streaming news channel. Just download the ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, and Apple TV.